What up, guys? This is Casey is Raw again, and this is a special edition of the Super Mario Brothers uh, series. I want to talk about the multi-pack versions, starting off with what most people got is the Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, and no, none none of these three actually had a box or a case like this. I bought these on eBay because I just want their box, that a version of their box. But, yeah, like I said, most people got this version of Super Mario Brothers with Duck Hunt. I had this one, the Super Mario Brothers with Duck Hunt and World Class Track Meet when I was growing up. And I still actually have the one... Well... Never mind. I was going to say I still have the one that I grew up with. I think that one uh, got lost. And then recently I picked up this one from Europe. It's the triple pack. You got Super Mario Bros, Tetris, and Nintendo World Cup. And like I say, from Europe. And you can see right there, it obviously says... Uh, that is not Nintendo seal of quality. And what's cool on this one right here, it has the warranty on it, 90 days limited warranty on the game pack. And you see right here, this is actually, it's pretty much saying this product is not designed, sponsored, or endorsed by Nintendo. So... And after after that, we went to the Super Nintendo. I'm pretty sure this is my childhood uh, Super Mario All-Star cart. And I actually wrote on the side right here. Let me get it off. Because I used to have them sit like this. So I put All-Stars. And after they came out with this, they had this version. They're more rare. And actually, it's a little heavier than normal. It's the Super Mario All-Stars plus Super Mario World. I hadn't seen this until, like, later in life. I was like, wow. And actually, I think that's a hell of a price right now. I mean, right there. Then I was like, oh, God. Now that's a hell. I think that's a hell of a deal now. So, it, like I said, it's a lot heavier than normal. There's probably way more. Oh, yeah, it's way heavier than the other one. Yeah, just a little bit more. And then pretty much they hadn't done any uh, pack, like a multi-pack like that for Mario until the Wii. I got this. I mean, actually, me and my wife picked this one up. I think it was 2010 we picked this up. So I had this one for 11 years in the clutch now. So, um... See, the thing was that she... Uh, was like, oh, we'll pl it's cool. It has the All-Star pack. And let's try to open this thing up. I didn't know it did that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It has the CD with their music. It almost, it looks like an almost like a CDR, if you ask me. And then it comes with a cool little booklet. But my biggest gripe about this one is it's identical with the Super Nintendo uh, game. It's just identical. All they did is that they took this game ROM and put it on a disc and and they pretty much just like, all right, let's print out a CD for music, print out a uh, a booklet and just 
Look, ship it out. I guarantee you it did not take them that long to make this. So that, yeah, that was my gripe about this uh, All-Stars. I mean, it's cool looking package and everything, but they were just lazy what they did with that. And then for turn the Wii U, we just didn't get Jack. So and it took until the Switch, we got a new version of All-Stars. We got Super Mario 3D All-Stars. We got Super Mario 64. Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy. Out of the three, uh, I would say I like 64. Then it, It's between Galaxy and 64. It's like a f first tie, no, tied for first place. And then this is definitely third place is Sunshine. I was not a huge fun, fan of Sunshine. And then there's the box art and everything. And I actually, back in the day, I was not a huge fan of Super Mario 64. And I believe the reason was, is because of the controller. And then, like I said, I was not a huge fan of Super Mario Sunshine. But it was just, it wasn't the controller this time, it was... Uh, I just didn't like the gameplay. And S Galaxy was great. But now I got the Switch version with Super Mario 64 on there. And I actually really enjoyed S Super Mario 64 now. So, uh, let me go ahead and maybe I'll show you guys different stuff startup screens of this one at the and of, of the triple pack and then maybe some gameplay of this one and then we'll see where we'll go from there we might need to do part two of this more than likely so let's start it up all right guys i just entered the double pack Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. And I forgot inside this case I have the booklet for this. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Trying to do this one handed. Shows a little bit of the level right there. It's a pretty cool uh, booklet. I used to, back in the day, take some of these instruction manuals and take them with me. So, uh, let's start this up. Just pretty much as uh, what most people remember. Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. So, you hit, and then you got it, and then you hit this, and you got Duck Hunt, obviously. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, now I pulled this out of its uh, box. It, this is definitely was not my childhood cart. Um... Might have got lost, or actually, I really think what happened. I think my ex girlfriend, long, long, long time ago, through I was having a breakup, the trying to get together with who became my wife, and she t took a bunch of my Nintendo games and broke them, and she she threw them off the balcony. And a couple of them broke. So this probably was one of them. So let's start it up. This is what the load up screen looks like. Got Super Mario Brothers. Duck Hunt. And World Track Meet. Let's show you. And what's cool about World Track Meet. Is actually a reskin of... Uh, God, what that, uh, Stadium Vents, uh, this is pretty much, they ripped 
they bought stadium vents from oh gosh I think it was Bandai and they repackaged this as their own product and they eventually instead of the family fun the fun family fitness pad they have obviously the Nintendo power pad so obviously that was just the demo Let's see if there's a demo for Duck Hunt. Probably not. Let's see. Give it a second. But I remember love playing Duck Hunt back in the past. A lot, lot of good times. I was not a big fan of clay shooting. It was okay. But uh did a ton of the, of the game A. Let's just say that. So, it looks like there's no demo. So, let's move on to the European version of the multi-pack. Alright, this is what the European uh, triple-pack game looks like. I remember seeing foot, uh, pictures of this, and the one that was, I wanted to get it badly. And this is what the top looks like of the label. And, yeah, one day I was trying to look for it. I was like, where? And then finally I found it. I thought it was a four-pack, but no, it was actually just a three-pack with Super Mario Bros. with Tetris and Nintendo World Cup. So let's just kind of do a little taste of all three. All right, let's start it up and show you what the menu looks like. It looks way different. This kind of reminds me of the Nintendo World Championship look like. And then they have two out of three games that were in there. What it does, it spans the games. Honestly, let's try Super Mario Bros. first. Alright, let's start it up. Oh, wow. He wouldn't start up Mario. That's weird. <laughs> I hit start. And it won't do it. Oh, Nintendo World Cup. It would only wants to do Tetris. Oh, interesting. See, thing is, I know th uh, the top loader is region free, so it's sh th it's sh shocking it would do just Tetris. That really shocked me. Play a little of Tetris. Well, I'm also thinking while I got this going, playing some Tetris for you guys. Um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to also think not only doing the Mario series with for you guys. I'm also thinking about doing some CDI gameplay for you guys. Like, play a couple... CDs at a time for you guys. And I can have a review of the game. I think that would be cool to do.
we'll play a little Tetris and I'm not gonna play a whole round, just playing Tetris. Ooh. Because I could sit them. Oh, they tricked me. Oh, I have to make bad decisions now. They throw curveballs all the time in Tetris. Yeah, like I said, make bad decisions. Getting back. <sighs> there we go. We're getting there again. Fixed all those mistakes now. And also, I just forgot to say, I am doing a lot of those um, con uh, sh videos about people's histories with their game consoles. That's why I need to go back and re talk to the Rose. I kind of forgot where we left off on, on that one. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the 60 and we'll stop here. Looks like I'm waiting for that, uh... Alright, there's 60. I was... Alright, it's a little addicting, okay? <laughs> Alright, that's what I really wanted, it's a Tetris. Alright, guys, I decided to check this in Classic. With a Q H D. Uh this can play not only uh HDMI, it would also play these games and A V cables and I just figured, hey, let's give it a shot. Let's see what it looks like. And I thought it eh, maybe not work. But guess what? Takes for a second and then shows up and guess what happens? You hit start. It starts not only that one. And it starts the ROM back up if you hit the restart button. You hit start on this one. The Nintendo World Cup works. 
What? Watch. Let's see if Tetris not work now. That'd be funny. No, Tetris worked just perfectly. So I really need to check one other thing. So, but I'm gonna show you guys a little gameplay of Mario Brothers. Like, we'll do a little quick round of Mario Brothers on this, and then we'll do some Nintendo World Cup. Even though it's not related to Mario, but it's something different. So, um, let's start it. Alright, let's play some Super Mario Bros. First time I ever played the European version. Oh, you can hear that? There's definitely, uh... Sounds completely different. And Mario runs extremely fast. Because that's about the Hertz and from the PAL games. Wow. You can hear this? Yeah, it seems like Mario runs a little faster. You can definitely hear the music run faster, too. I'm just glad to know this pack actually works. You know what? I was going to do the Minus World glitch, but you guys seen me do that before. Let's see. Oh, almost fell to my doom. I felt like I almost jumped over. I only got one fireworks. Do, 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 do. This trick right here, you can get, you can work, war, see in the Super Mario Bros. All Night in the Pond, this looked completely different. This is obviously looked like the original. I know, see, I know how to get to, oh, nice, and this is definitely the European ver, uh, they have the Japanese version of the game, because you go from, uh, Firefly, uh, Fire Mario to, um, uh, straight to Little Mario. Oh shit! <laughs> I was caught right there. Oh, I go all the way back. 
All right, you know what? So stop here. I could probably try to finish it, but I'm recording this for you guys. So let's uh get out of this and get into Nintendo World Cup. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm only... <laughs> what the hell? The... Okay, I was going to say the goalie. Probably with <laughs> I got a score. I got a score. Yes. Oh, they got it. That's actually really hard. The characters totally remind me of uh, River City Ramp uh, Rampage. Oh shoot, I messed up right there. They might get a score on this one. Okay, I see where I'm at. There's a map down there. I had no idea where the hell...
Oh, I fi. There's a guy down. <laughs> You got, like, several people are down. Mm. Half time. All right, let's stop there. say Oh we got third goal That was close. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this round. Thank you. 
Oh, he kicked the outside of that. Really hard game. Oh, we missed. I thought we got it. But he kicks it to someone who's down. Yeah, it's about over, so... He did it again to the same guy who's laying down! Oh, just barely. And this is the first time I ever played this game. It's actually quite fun, if you ask me. Once you get to know what you're doing. USA versus Japan, but I'm gonna stop right there.
Alright guys, I decided to add one other game into today's uh, video, and it's a bonus. It's kind of multi-card, but it's pretty much well known. It's the Nintendo World Championship, and this is a reproduction. The real thing is worth thousands of dollars, so let's... Go ahead and play this for. All right, let's start this up. You got the Nintendo World Championship 1999 logo right there, and you have to hit start on second player. And then you have to switch over to one player again. I was going. I was trying to look for a. Um, come on, get in there. Do 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 do. I'm almost halfway there. You have to get 50 coins. 99 lives. There we go. Felt like it took forever to do it. We go from that to Rad Racer. Complete the course. I never really played Rad Racer that much at all. You gotta at least try to stay on the lane. I don't mean stay on the road because It's trying to It's trying to throw me off a little bit. I'll s I slow down a little bit so I don't get hit those corners or Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's what I tried to avoid. lose so much time on that. Mm. Come on, get to the... Oh, come on. I should hit the brakes. It takes forever. You gotta get in the middle lane.
Come on, where's the inn? Oh, there we go. I don't have a lot of time. You know, I only got a little bit of time left. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say it. Now it's time to play Tetris. With the rest of it. You really want to get to Tetris. That's the whole goal. I'm trying to just get all the lines I can. Usually, I would build up the for Tetris. But I'm trying to get as many lines as I can. Because I don't know when it's going to give up time like that. Ugh, I didn't even break a million. I only got 153,695 points. That's all that game is for. I paid 70 bucks for this co uh, uh, cartridge, and it's only good for less than seven minutes. <laughs> but I think I did pretty decent. I mean, you want to get the. You can see, like Super Mario, you only get the what scores you get for times one. So, pretty much exact what you got on Super Mario. Then. Uh, then it's times 10, so it pretty much jumps up a digit, and then it times 25 with Tetris. Like I said, you definitely want to try to get to the last one as Tetris, and try to get as many lines as you can. But, I just realized how, you know, gosh, it's cool to have this, but this game, but for 70 bucks for a 7 minute game that's it that's kind of rip off especially the people who actually bought the real deals but that is it, thank you guys for watching, bye